Breaking right now, everyone, President Trump saying that the U.S. is prepared and is at this moment in time preparing to impose a 5% tariff on all goods imported from Mexico if that country doesn't start to do more to combat the migrant crisis on our southern border. Now, the tariffs, they're set to take effect on June 10th, so in just a few days here, if Mexico doesn't do anything, if they don't act and they continue to allow this, he's going to retaliate with these tariffs. Now, the president's warning these tariffs are going to keep going and they're going to keep increasing until the crisis is resolved. Mexico says this action will be disastrous this coming uh, season, summer, I should say, as our Border Patrol makes its largest single apprehension ever. More than 1,000 illegal migrants were actually apprehended after crossing into our country near El Paso, Texas. Joining me right now, House Oversight Committee member, Tennessee Congressman Mark Green. Good to have you here, Congressman. Hey, Trish. Great to be on your show. So, uh, tariffs, that's where he's going. Does, does he get the reaction he needs and wants from Mexico with this threat, this economic threat that would be quite, uh, quite bad for their economy? Yeah, I look first. Everybody hates tariffs. I mean, I even think the president hates tariffs. But um, it's a crisis at the southern border, and we have to do something. I mean, if if it's really a crisis, then you go to crisis measures, and I think that's what the president is doing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the the hundred thousand plus a month now, and we're we're on track for a, a record year. Uh, and you heard, yeah, I think you announced earlier in in your monologue uh, about a thousand. 36 yes. today, yes. and this is this out of control. But we have to do something. You know, I think of the hundreds, thousands of Americans who are dying from the opiate crisis, and most of the synthetic opioids are coming across the southern border. Um, I mean, it, it's a crisis, and it's time to act. So, so Mexico said, "We'll act. We'll do something." Uh, they've certainly given us lip service in the past, but they haven't really done anything because we look at these numbers, right? And it's it's pretty striking how severe they are, and they just keep growing, Congressman. Uh, do we have some video? We can show you some video of the, of the group today apprehended. 1,000 people. I mean, that is a big amount of people that are crossing in to our border there in El Paso, Texas. I mean, you think about the challenges that the community of El Paso has or any of these communities along the border, and they're saying, yeah. wait a second, there's only so much we can do, right? What about yeah. the Mexican side? Yeah, well, the, the New York Times is even calling it a crisis now. And it is time for Mexico to do its part. I know when President Trump mentioned possibly doing tariffs before, they actually started doing some work at their southern border. So hopefully this, uh, you know, gets them going and the tariffs don't have to go into place. I mean, that certainly well, you know, would be I, ideal. I, I agree with you, but, you know, June 10th is like right around the corner. So it, they just have a few days here yeah. to show some willingness to step up to the plate because, look, as you said at the start, you know, you don't like tariffs. Nobody likes tariffs. The president probably Nobody. doesn't even like tariffs. Um, and they're not good for, for us and our economy, certainly not good for their economy. But at what point do you say, come on, like, what else are we going to do? 